Sural was always eager to serve the Palawan people. In the early 80s, he was asked by President Ramalik to serve on the Foreign Investment Board. Sorangal has always believed that our environment is our greatest asset. He has often said that unlike Arab countries that have oil, Palau has its environment. Furthermore, development in Palau should benefit the people of Palau, and it should improve the lives of the Palauans. He was first elected to public office in 1981. He served as the first executive officer for his home state of Natpang. Surang, Rogamsik, Nilatkel Epison, and the Naimis worked together to build the Bemre Highway, a project seen by experts as impossible due to the terrain and the lack of funding. Today, the people of Ngatpang enjoy accessibility to their homes by car. In the past, it was only accessible by boat. A few years later, the people of Ngatpang encouraged him to seek a seat in the House of Delegates. He was elected and served in the second Onwira Galulang. He later ran unopposed and was elected into the third, fourth, and fifth OEK as a delegate from Ngatpang. As a delegate, Surango did his best to represent the interests of the people of his state. He sought to find projects that would encourage economic development of Ngatbang. His proven leadership skills in business and his unwavering commitment to the environment influenced his colleagues to select him for membership on committees such as foreign affairs, capital improvement projects, judiciary and governmental affairs, to name a few. As chairman of the Committee on Resources and Development and members of committees on foreign affairs, Sorano was critical of the compact and always believed that the financial package was not enough. He was also sent to London on behalf of the House of Delegates to negotiate the settlement of the Epsico power plant debt. In 1992, after two months of deadlock in the House on the selection of a speaker, Sorango nominated himself and was unanimously elected as the Speaker of the House of the 4th OEK from 1992 to 1996. He became known as the politician you could trust, partly because of his lack of vindictive nature and because of his sense of fairness and his ability to listen. He was able to unify the House of Delegates and for a time there was no majority or minority in the House. In 1996, when the KB Bridge collapsed, Sorano, still speaker, was one of the first people on the scene to lend a hand to solving the major problem of getting water to the people of Koror. Sorano always has been known as a man of action. In 2000, Sorano won his bid as senator in the first nationwide senatorial race. He was the highest vote getter in a heated senatorial race with about 63% of the votes. In 2004, he sought a second term in the Senate general elections and once again received the most votes with an increase to 73% of the votes. His colleagues then unanimously elected him Senate President. He continues to serve in its capacity today. Sorano believes that as Senate President, it is his job to preside and provide a proper forum for his colleagues to debate and decide issues affecting our young nation. His job is not to force his colleagues to accept his opinions, but rather ensure that all concerns are heard and that together they can make the best decisions for a good Palau. Sorango continues to work with his colleagues in the Senate to pass legislation that provides opportunities to our citizens and encourages sustainable economic development. He firmly believes that we need a government that helps the less fortunate and provides competitive advantages for its people. He brought about the changes to the Foreign Investment Act and the implementation of the minimum wage law. From his humble beginning, Sorano has risen to become a successful businessman and a true public servant. His actions display his good leadership through honesty, integrity, trustworthiness, responsibility, fairness, and humility. He has the courage to do the right thing, putting the people's interest first. 
He is committed to ensuring that the people of Palau all benefit from Palau's success.